They asked me where I wanted to perform. Tufan, Buckeye, Legacy. And I was like, nah, Juzba. You guys look like a great crowd, very brown. So you guys know how it is in Indian families. We know nothing about our parents and they know nothing about us. And that was my entire childhood. For example, for my sixth birthday, I wanted this beautiful blue BMX bike. But you know what I got instead? A toilet seat. So that's when I realized there's a generational gap between us and our parents. See, you're gonna fight with your parents, but there's a finite number of times you can disagree with them. Each time you do, it's like playing a card out of your hand. You're not gonna be a doctor? Boom, that's a card. You wanna marry a white girl? Boom, that's your entire hand. I could have been like, Dad, fight me, I want that bike. But I was like, hang on to your cards. You'll need them later. Growing up as a Muslim brown boy, my dad's rules for me were very simple. No fun, no friends, no girlfriends. You can date when you're married and you can have fun in med school. <laughs> so much for med school. Speaking of med school, that's why my mom was in India. And my dad would leave to visit her from time to time. So the first eight years, it was just me and my dad. Just the two of us trying to make it in America. Minus all the unconditional love though. Gotta be real, brown love is very conditional. <laughs> Finally though, after eight years, my mom was coming home. But she brought an unexpected surprise. Are we good? Where were we? Oh yeah, my mom was coming home and it was supposed to be the best day of my life. Suddenly this girl hugs me, Hassan bye, and I'm in full hover hands mode because I have no idea who this person is. Turns out, I had a sister. My dad brought her out like Mori for immigrants. He's like, Hassan, you are the brother. Now this bob in a frock is following me on the playground. Yeah. Hey, I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances for nothing on the with some counterfeits, but now I'm counting this. My left stroke just went viral. Right stroke with a baby in the spiral. Uh, uh, sit down. So it's her birthday, right? And my dad wheels in a beautiful blue BMX bike. Here you go, Aisha. Looks at me. Happy birthday. Savage, right? I'm livid! So she's like, Hassan bye, lo na lo. And as the older brother, I felt entitled to that bike. So, I crashed her bike and had to use one of my cards. You know how you hit that point when your parents give up on you and move on? Like, yeah, we tried with Hassan, let's move on to Aisha. Yeah, that's what happened, because Aisha grew up, learned English, and aspired to be a lawyer. She was that brown kid. <laughs> Move, Aisha, get out the way.
She went to an Ivy League law school, but I didn't go to grad school. I became a comedian. Like, this is what I do. For my parents, though, it was never enough. It took my last card for my parents to accept comedy as my career. They were always like, why can't you be more like Aisha? Having a younger sister did have its perks though. That's how I met her friend, Bina. I started dating Bina, and man, she was the girl of my dreams. Looks like no more Tinder for this guy. I'm in love, I want to marry Bina, and I rush home to tell my dad, but all he says is, she's Hindu. A Muslim marrying a Hindu? Look ya king by. What will people think? I can't fight back though because I played all my cards. But that's when I hear Aisha say, Dad, they love each other. Isn't there something bigger that unites us all outside of religion? <laughs> For years, I resented that brown girl. I hated her. But I should just play one of her cards. For me. Because of her, I got to marry the love of my life. And on that day, on that special day, I couldn't have been more proud to be her husband by. <laughs> Hey!